All right. Another strange little oddity, as it were, has cropped up on my news feed over the last few days. I mean, according to this, the Earth's atmosphere, believe it or not, extends to the moon. Because they found old data. Old data. Yeah. I suppose that could happen. If you think it logically for for a moment, I have six terabytes worth of storage in my computer, and that would be like trying to find a, an old JPEG in the needle in a haystack, so to speak. But I don't believe that at all. I think this is quite possibly one of the biggest. Mandela effects going right now, I think. I mean, just as a discovery, blah 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 blah, and we does indeed have an atmosphere. Well, isn't isn't that interesting? Now, if this is all true, that means you'll be able to walk on the surface of the moon without a spacesuit. Isn't it? Which is, is uh, very strange. I mean, if this is a, so to speak, old data that we just come across, from how many years ago? Why have they just, just discovered it recently? You know what I mean? I mean, this is like from NASA, isn't it? Or whoever discovered the data. I mean, come on. Surely this would have been huge information that would have been released to the public I mean I, I would think by now we could just live on the moon no bother or if there's any moons or moon bases already on there or like I said European space is empty that's what's so to speak, uh, 20 year old data. 20 year old. So let me get let me get get this get my head around this. I found data from 1999 relating to atmosphere and extends to the moon on Earth's atmosphere so the way I see it it looks like it could extend much further than that which which looks uh, to me I mean I'm just I don't know about you guys I'm quite uh, stunned by this information I mean to a lot of people this isn't important but I think this is uh, really important it's the way I see it the American Space Agency has totally cocked up on this apparently that's the image there with our little layers and expanded but from 1999, the Earth has got an atmosphere. Hmm. Apparently, it's always been this way. Oh, I'm not buying that one thing. Not buying it. I think they've just discovered this. 
I mean, an atmosphere on the moon, on the moon, that's huge. That is very huge indeed. Think about it. If more and more people know about this, there'll be a race to the moon rather than Mars. And for some reason, we're just skipping from the moon to the Mar to Mars, which is quite odd. I mean, clear, clearly, the nearest neighbor is the moon. So, shouldn't we not just build bases on the moon first? You know, as a starting point. And a lot more, you know. I mean, man, this, this stuff is getting weirder and weirder and weirder. I mean, it says, states here, European Space Agency, ESA, that's us, by the way, on February 20th, 19, 2019. It's quite recent, isn't it? Viewed it about a week. 20 year old data from the space based SOHO Observatory. Now, I would think somebody would be manning that station 24-7, looking for your data, wouldn't you think? In case there's anything missed. I mean... Uh -huh. There it is, uh, ultraviolet Lady L. I mean, chances are we could breathe this easy. But, hmm. Hmm. isn't that interesting? Hmm. Oh well, never mind. So, what do you guys think? Is somebody lying over this, or has somebody sneaked this information out? Either, either way, it'll, it'll be uh, interesting to find out, won't it, if somebody actually, the gaseous, oh god, you would say that word, I don't think, the cloud of, blah, 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 but no one knew it reached far into space, it extends twice as far as moon to orbit, 4,000 miles, 600,000, so that means the International Space Station up there doesn't need any life support. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? So they don't need anything to breathe up there if, that, if this is all true. Oh well, nevertheless, it's all here. I'll put. I will post this link in the uh, description, and you can read it for yourselves. And tell me what you think. Is somebody lying over this, or is it actual old data that somebody just came across, or the supernatural element, which is the Mandela effect? We jumped into it. We shifted into reality where there's atmosphere on the moon. And they just went holy f and just realized it you know what i mean and if that's the case somebody at the space agency is mandela affected that's the way i see it i mean they gotta be right to find out all this stuff i mean why is a 20 year old data just sitting there doing nothing and why haven't we not been in been to the moon all these years I think I know the reason why now. Because of this. If the moon had an atmosphere, it'll be everybody will be uh, laying a claim to it. I'm quite surprised I haven't done it already. I mean I'm just puzzled by this one. I mean so far granted it's not NASA. Because so normally they would uh, find that data first, but it's uh, us that's found the 20 year old data from an observatory. Well, huh. wouldn't that never mind? This is quite, uh, quite uh, 
what's the word a mandela effect to open up everybody yeah it's a russia space research institute you know what i mean it's so i suppose they could be more trustworthy than uh, the american counterparts but like i said the moon has now got an atmosphere huh. I think we just shifted recently that's and then the data was magically put there and the people just noticed it you know what I mean things can happen like that can't it I mean there's like the, the other day I've just got a new batteries in the battery box you know that's the same sort of thing but nevertheless this is Max signing it off and have a good one.